previously on the Pokemon Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke. With the help of you guys, we chose our legendary starter. We also met the most annoying rival to date. And we also captured our first encounter. But how long will this first encounter last? Will I ever go back for the chicken nuggies? Find out in today's episode of the Pokemon Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke. Yo right, guys, it's Game Boy Luke here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, I, I'm super excited to bring you another episode today, guys, because you, you guys have been killing it in the comment section. And I've been, ha I've had so much positive feedback in, in forms of tweets, uh, in comments, and, and like the light ratings and stuff like that. It's been absolutely ridiculous. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it, and it really does, you know, just create some crazy ass motivation for me to just keep recording this series. So thank you again. I mean, if we can keep that momentum going, uh, please do leave a like rating down below. It would be greatly appreciated, as you already know. Um, but, I did tweet out yesterday. Uh, I, I asked you guys for some feedback, uh, and also in the comment section, uh, in regards to what we should do if we win a challenge. Some people were saying how we should um, ban a Pokemon. Like, my highest level Pokemon should be banned if I fail the challenge. Which I kind of like. That's a good idea. Um, Again, I would prefer it. I mean, it'd be cool if you guys in the comment section could let me know if you think that's a good idea. So, for example, right now we have Dialga and we have Dragalgi, right? So, say at the point of losing the challenge, my, or at the end of that episode, rather, the highest level Pokemon I have is Dialga. In the following episode, I can't use Dialga until the episode after that, if that makes any sense. Uh, if, I, if That's if I fail the challenge. And if you're new, uh, I have made a, um, a new, like... People could call it the game show rule, and I like that a lot. We could add that as, a, as an official thing. It's called the game show rule, where I add a wheel. We spin the wheel. It chooses a challenge for us, and we have to abide that challenge. If we fail the challenge, I was originally going to do nothing, but someone in the comment section did say, maybe you should ban one of your Pokemon from being used uh, in the following episode as a punishment, which I like. I, I think it's a good idea. If you have one Pokemon, then we can't do that. I guess we just don't do that rule. Um, we just kind of skip over it if we if we don't have m uh, more than one Pokemon, but that works. Um, I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to start off with this, which is a um, a rewards wheel, um, which I spent a lot of time building. I spent a lot of time building last night. Uh, it has a lot of options on there, and there are a lot of stuff on there. Obviously, I don't want to give myself something great every single episode, so I also put on there, like, tossing one item. Uh, there's a lot of nothings on there, and a spin again as well. So... Seeing as we didn't evolve any Pokemon in the last episode, I'm gonna go ahead and spin this wheel. It should be recording, it is recording. And it's actually gonna land on. Wow, that's crazy. So we just land on Enable Keystone, right? So this basically means I can go, okay, in the next episode, I will modify my game so that we have the Keystone in, which means we can Mega Evolve Pokemon. So if we bump into a, uh, a Mega, a Mega Stone, which was also on this list, then we can Mega Evolve Pokemon. So in the next episode, uh, I will enable the Keystone. Um, the challenge for this episode, however, the challenge for this episode, let's see here. This is what we have to do during this episode, and it is no Pokemon centers. <laughs> what? Okay, so we can't use Pokemon centers in this episode. Uh, I guess that counts your mom too. I don't want to go to my mom for healing. I know at some point during the game there are there are story parts in the game that make you heal your Pokemon up. Um, so I can't control that, but I can't physically go to a Pokemon Center and heal myself up, basically. I can go to the Pokemon Mart, I just can't go to a Pokemon Center. So during this episode, we are not we are not allowed to heal up pretty much. Only through items. Unless it's story-based, then we can't control it. So I'm gonna stop recording that. And we're gonna go ahead. And continue our epic adventure in this game. So, I don't think we have... I don't think we have a map yet. I don't think we have a map yet, unfortunately. I'll show you where the Holy Grail is. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't think we have a map yet, so I can't tell which areas I can catch... I can, I can and can't catch Pokemon in. Trial Guide? I didn't know the Trial Guides battled you. She has a Starly? Let's go, Zaggy. Oh, I also forgot to mention, in the last episode, I was like, Oh, we can't use, uh, Dragalgi if, um, once we catch, well, we can't use Dragalgi once we catch it because it'd be lower level Pokemon. I thought I got 
uh, a different option on the wheel. Uh, it was like no evolving, but it was actually... It was no evolving, but I thought it was only use your lowest level Pokemon, so I got those confused up, so I, po I just apologize if I confused anyone in the last episode. And my webcam, like, glitched all, all crazy in this last episode too, which is kind of wild, but... Alright, what is this? Give me this. Of course we find a wild Pokemon. It's every time we get, like, set foot outside the grass, it's like, Nope, wait a second, there's Sneasel here? Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing here, right? I would have loved... I would have loved to use Sneeze on an LP. I used Weavile in Diamond and Pearl, I was saying that actually. I guess maybe like leveling up from the beginning would have been cool, I suppose. I don't know. Anyways, let me run out of this grass. Oh, there's another item over here. Let me get this. I wish the items were shuffled. I don't think there's a feature for that in the randomizer yet, unfortunately. So I don't think there's any way of hard coding that in at the moment. I mean, maybe something that's introduced later on in the game. Oh, give me this. Isn't that music? There's a bunch of, like, crazy music going on right now. Hello, child. Oh, okay. Don't want to face me? Jeez, okay. What is this place? <laughs> oh, my God. That's a reference to... Oh, my God, the captain. I'm just challenged by Oliver. Just no trade class, just Oliver. How's it going, man? Hey, Oliver. Is it Oshawott? Look at Oshawott. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, so for you guys, don't know, I mean, there's gonna be a bunch of references to like a, like a bunch of stuff me and Dina have talked about. For example, that was a reference to uh, Girl Chan in Paradise. If you've seen that, it's a flash animation made by uh, Aaron from the Game Grumps. Literally, just search up Girl Chan in Paradise. It's a stupid flash animation. It's funny. If you like the Game Grumps humor, you really enjoy it. It's 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 hilarious. Dude, I like how Oshawa takes his little shell off and runs. Oh, I just killed you. <gasps> Will the poison finish you off? Yes! It bodied Oshawa. No issue, no problem. <laughs> what is this place? Oh, I didn't read that. I should have read it. Should have read it. I do, I can't miss out on text. Wait, can I speak to the trainers after I've beaten them? Did they say something? Great monster soldiers can sense promise in other monster coaches. Did you pick up on anything? I don't think there's a change. Is there an item over here that is? Hold up. Hold up. What else is here? Can we get a shiny? Can we actually find a shiny? There's Ladybird here. This place actually got randomized to have a Pokemon that already is in this area. That's wild. Bam, 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 bam. I love music. I love music so much. It's so good. Excuse me. Let me get my potion. Paralyze heal. I think I also changed the music for Icky Town when the when the the um, festival is going on. Oh my God, Skiddo! Dude, that's another forgotten forgotten Pokemon. Like, it's not really that forgotten, but like, I guess after we got past X and Y, the Pokemon in that generation, like the ones that not the ones that like were crazy. Like, I, Skiddo wasn't a Pokemon I tend to remember. I know you ride on him at some point, but like, he's a Pokemon I don't ever think about. So, all right, it's lit as fuck. Let us fuck off. Okay. I have to talk to everybody. We have to talk to everybody. Oh, look at the little rock ruff. Look at the little pupper bear. Look at him. I'm out of breath. I'm just walking over here. I need a Gatorade. <laughs> Today's festival is to show our undying allegiance to these great Pokemon guardian deities for enslaving us. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's actually a sacrifice, sacrificial ritual. There may not be many of us, but that's because Tapu Koko consumes all of his victims. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Uh, well, we may call it a festival, it's actually a sacrificial ritual. Okay, cool, got you, got you, got you. What, what is Rowlet saying? I just need to speak to people. No, I don't want to fight you, Hal, wait. Oh, how's it, Luke? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Rowlet have been waiting ages. Oh. Hold on, did anyone explain you about to explain to you about tonight? Oh yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? Pew! A full power festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, putting our best moves against uh, one another in a deadly competition. Please our guardian. Woo! So you two will be taking part in the battle. I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since I'm a goody two shoes. But <laughs> but it seems like this is an important event. So I'll I'll be sure to watch for you. Yeah. My goody two shoes. 
Your Pokemon have fought for you, but don't give them mercy, Luke. Let me feed some chili. <laughs> Let me feed them some chili dogs. Okay, so this is story. I can't. I can't help him not healing me up here. I can't refuse it. <laughs> Are you ready to catch this D? <laughs> yes. Here comes the D. Do we just go straight up into fighting? Ah, oh, dude, I, I need to go around and talk to people. For all life on our islands, and for those who undertake the island challenge to join their hearts, we pray you don't kill us. Please have mercy. <laughs> May this Pokemon battle spill blood to our kind island's guardian, dear Itapu Coco. Before you stands, before you, before you stands, how? Oh, before, before you stands, how? Idiot to the island dad. <laughs> oh my god. For him stands Luke, who has met with Tapu Coco. What? What a vicious little thing Tapu Coco in! <laughs> ah, that's just typical of it. Dragalga, you better fucking win for Luke! <laughs> as long as we both have a good time, do you think this could go up on YouTube? Yo! <laughs> oh my god. Luke, how? Don't fucking screw up! Alright. Let's do this. What is how? Oh my god, how is another captain? How is another captain? That's hilarious. I'm never gonna be able to hear how's oh I remember act this. We're never gonna be able to hear how's um battle theme that I put in the game because we have to wait till it gets randomized, which is kinda sucky. Alright, Maractus. Uh let's go for a faint attack. Sweet scent! Dude, Maractus, again, is another Pokemon that is just completely forgotten about. Bam. It did nothing. Red card? Okay. What? I just got red carded out by this Maractus. That was probably a bad decision on your part. Oh, a decision? It wasn't really a decision because you were holding the item, so I guess you didn't really have a choice to whether- I mean, whatever. How, how, just, just die. Get out of here. Rawr. Peck. This Pokemon really just used Peck on a Dialga. Peck. We have to be careful. I can't use Pokemon says I have to think about this. I have to think logically. We have to be smart. Dang, level 7. I wonder when we get... I should probably look up like a new move. And, uh, when Dialga like learns his next move. Oh, Zagier level 7 too. Awesome. Shield on. Uh, let me go into Zaggy for this because we have Water Gun. Look at this little man. Look at the little boy. Why is Shield on such a cutie, right? And then it evolves into Bastiodon and he's a total pizza face. Like, it sucks. Don't you dare hurt me. Okay, taunt. Excuse me, Shield on. I need you to uh, leave. Oh, I guess it kind of sucks because. Dragalgi's not water type, and Stab would finish this Pokemon off right now. That was, that was a crit. What? How was that a crit? Don't you dare use a potion. Don't you dare. How is it faster than me now? Speed tie? Really? I guess it's kind of... I guess you could see it happening early game. It's super effective. I need to speed up the text. So I haven't done that yet. Hey, we got it. We did the thing. Level 8. Hell yeah. What? It's already over. Okay, okay, face. It's so funny. Woo, we had another great blood spill this year. I think Tapu Koko is appeased. Phew, that was close, Luke. That was way past cool. <laughs> I had a blasty blast fighting you. It was a good battle with this, even Tapu Koko. I will spare you humans just this once. You humans? You humans. Oh, Tapu Koko's song of approval. We get to live another year. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time for you to take this, Luke. We got our... Got the thing. You slip the Z-Ring onto your wrist. And the Z-Ring. It can be doubled up as a Mega Ring. We just we need to get the, 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 the Keystone, which we have in our bag now, so... Your Z-Ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokémon. It can bring forth their Z-Power. We dads can make them re by refining stones like the Sparkling Stone you received from Tapu Koko. Although, until you collect more Z-Crystals during your Island Challenge, you will not be able to draw the Z-Power of your Pokémon. And yet, you've already received that sparkling sto stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a li liking to you, maybe a little too much. <laughs> In other words, it's time for you to get out of here and start your Island Challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what the mission is. 
every island. Look at my fingers! <laughs> You've traveled each four islands here in the Alola region. The island, the island challenge is about aiming to be the dopest monster coach and the, the island challenge champion. Yeah! Sounds great, right? I can't wait to... <laughs> Gee! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! Now, I'll explain about the island challenge later. I guess, like, how is just having this weird crisis where he's, like, Sonic, but also Link from the Faces of Evil. Jeez. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Tapu Koko is scary, isn't it? I hope we don't have to do this again, but I did it, I did save Nevi. I'm really upset because I think I could have talked to a bunch of trainers here and I missed out on the chance to. I should have talked to people before I, before, before I walked off. I'm so I'm sorry. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with a sparkling so You must be privileged. Suppose it's time we call Ubi. <laughs> then I suppose it's goodbye. Please tell me I don't have to, they're not going to teleport me back. I'm not done here. Damn it! We need to go back to Icky Town and talk to people. I can't believe I forgot to. Ah! Hello. Oh, Luke, you're back already. I thought you'd want to stay in Icky Town longer. I did. I actually wanted to, but I didn't get the choice to. Especially right after that great battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own boy fighting in such perfect sync with his Pokemon. Maybe a good idea for you to try that island challenge thing. It's something only you can only do in Alola, right? Right now, I've got a date with K I mean bed. I've twerked too hard. Night, <laughs> night, nice, nice, sweetie. You get some sleep too. And I see, I don't get the choice to like not be healed. I'm sorry. Can't help it. The next day. Kaka! Kaka! <laughs> Question mark. Oh, a visitor. If it's Kakui, he'll probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door. How rude is that? Ah. Alright. Now, I'm wondering. I'm curious. I'm curious. Yeah, Moomo's full of chicken nuggies. Oh, okay. Okay. The thing, the thing is, we left we left the chicken nuggies behind. That's fine. You destroyed it. Alright, anyways. It's not Kakui. Who be it? Hello, Lily. Oh, um, the professor said, Hey there, Lily. Bring me that thuggin' monster coach. Yeah! <laughs> so I'm here to show you the way to his crib if you'll come with me. It's, um, it's this way. Luke! Here's some stacks for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Some stacks? Go just give me money, dude. Cash, cash, dollar, dollar. Oh, well done, Luke. You're mingling already, aren't you? What a, what a cute future wife you found! I mean, I knew Alola would be a great place for us. Makes me some grandbabies! Me? Oh, um... My name is Lily, yeah! Oh my god. Looks like you're finally time to shine, sweetie. Don't take rare candy from strangers, and don't be gone too long. Look at the meow. Meow! What does Lily have to say about all this? You have a very strange mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the research lab. All right, so I'm pretty sure there's some little lines of text that I can read. Wait, did she change this? No, she leaks out. Okay, so can I just like, what did she say when I run this way? Not that way, dummy. Oh my God, wow, rude. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Enough already, Taurus. Calm down, you're gonna hurt somebody. Okay, no, no. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. This is a new route though, right? You can only reach the professor's lab by traversing time and space. But we can just cut through here and tall grass right here too. Since I'm not a monster coach though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. I'm just a huge pussy. I'm sorry I'm like this. A and about Nebby. Oh, I mean, the blue fart cloud. Blue fart cloud seems to be very... very <laughs> Did she change Cosmog? Did you actually change Cosmog's name to blue fart cloud? Are we serious? It came from far, far away. <laughs> Pew. It seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to send me once while I was in danger. But other people want blue fart cloud for themselves to use that power. That's why only the professor and dad holler and other people I trust can know about it. Can you keep it a secret? Can you please not tell about uh, tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on the bridge, please? She changed fucking Cosmog to blue fart cloud. I don't know what to say. However... Uh, let me fight this trainer first. It was popping, bro. Let's go! Kneecaps! Huh? Huh? 
Did she change the name of another Pokemon? This is twins, but there's only one of them there. That's funny. Oh, it's Lavatar, never mind. Oh, look at Lavatar. Look at him, he's moving his booty. He's shaking it to and fro. Look at him. Okay, that's one of them. Let's get rid of this boy. This is a, this is an Oko. All right. Hell yeah. Get out of here, Lavatar. You're a cute boy, but I'm sorry. Bing. Oh, it took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> oh, Skyrim reference. XD. All right, anyways, moving on. First encounter on this route is a... A Heracross. Hero? Really? Uh, I can, dude, we can, I can, I can take hits from this thing all day. Okay, if it layers me, I, I can, I can if it layers me. Maybe I should switch into, no, I don't want to switch into Dialga, it's super effective against me. Oh my god, this thing is taking, what in the world? Endure! Bro, I could have, I could have brought him, I could have brought him in. I haven't used Heracross in a minute. Ooh, I think you can, I think you can take one more of those. I'm confident you can, but I'm also not confident. So I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball and see where we can go from this range. Come on, Heracross, I would love to use a Heracross. I haven't used one in such a long time. Like I said, I repeat myself. Wow, okay. Tackle, after the defense drop. I'm only doing five, okay. Then maybe we should faint attack it. I'm gonna faint attack it. Oh, he's realizing, he's like, bro, you need to have more health removed. Bam. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if I can do another one of those. I don't know if I can do another one of those. He's red health now, though. How many Pokemon do we have? Nine. Okay. Come on, Heracross. Yes. Okay. Okay. Tackle again. He is doing a lot more damage now. That was a crit too. I'm gonna switch into Dialga because we can take tackles. I don't think he has a fighting type move yet, so. And if he does, it's gonna be oh my god, it'll be reversal if he does. Yeah, we should look up Heracross real quick. I'm actually a little bit I'm a little bit nervous. We need a status move. Because reversal would do a lot of damage right now. I think he's got Tackle, Leer, Horn, Attack, and, and Duh, I think. So I think we're good. Come on. Come on. This is not happening. Two damage, okay. Come on, Heracross, stay in the ball. Heracross is a beast. I love this game because it has really good movesets. Our reversal's not to level 46. What were they talking about? Three? Of course. Why, why? Of course you tease me. Of course you tease me like that. Wow, the Horn Attack did the same damage as Tackle. And Horn Attack is 65 damage. That's crazy. Come on. Horn Attack is the more, there's more damage than Tackle, that's what I'm saying. Damn it, I wish I had Dragon Breath on the turn he used Endure. Like, I can't predict that though, I don't want to kill it. Yes, we got it. Bam. Take that, sucker. Okay. All right. So, we have a special naming convention. I, there'll be plenty of times uh, opportunities for me to name Pokemon after people. Um, but we do have a person that uh, actually drew some fan art for us. Also, a tail whip. Can we not? Uh, I retweeted it uh, today, actually. Uh, so I'm gonna name this uh, Heracross after that person. So thank you so much for your fan art, Danny. I really appreciate it. Let's call this Heracross Danny. There we go. Fan art is very much appreciated. I love the fact that Dialga is like just chilling there, like meow. It's funny. You funny person. Okay. So let me just don't encounter anything. Okay. So our first encounter here. I'm pretty sure it's a different area. If, if it's not, then I will. Nope. Back out. I like my Pokedex shows 0%. That's really funny. I was scared it might crash or something if I opened it. Okay, um, so let's just double check the different areas. So we have uh, uh, Route 1, 
Icky Town because it was a gift poke one, and this is also Route 1, so I guess I actually can't- I can't use the- I thought it was a separate area, so I guess I can't use the Heracross. Um, I didn't realize I just wasted my Pokeballs on that as well. There's a problem, we, we don't- it doesn't really detail, like, new route, routes and stuff like that too much, but I know you can catch different Pokemon here. So it's- it's a little bit confusing in regards to where new areas are in this game. It's not like a, a typical Pokemon game, I feel, so... Hmm. We're gonna have to be a little bit more careful, and I think, um, in Sun and Moon... Did you say check out my dick? Okay, um... I didn't customize this music, I didn't get the chance to, but we're challenged by this person already. Yo, that's- that's kind of cool. I know this is- this is already in the game. Please don't be dry skin. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Mud slap! Okay, okay. I am gonna have to leave. So, I mean, maybe I should look up a, um... I need to look up a new... Like a list of areas in. List of areas in Pokemon Sun. Pokemon locations in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Hopefully they're in order. Oh, it's, just, it's just a Pokemon locations. I don't want Pokemon locations. I want the list of locations. Dude, stop mud slapping me. Don't miss! Fuck. Now it's astonishing me. Right. Um, okay, so we have... Okay, okay, so we have... We have the How Only Outskirts, Icky Town, Route 1, Trainer School, How Early City, so Route 2, How Early Cemetery, Verdant Cavern, uh, Route 3, Melee Melee Meadow. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, Seaside Cave, Icky Town, the Grand Trial location, and 10 Carrot Hill. So there are a bunch of areas, actually. Half of those we can't even access, though, because they're like cities. And you can't catch Pokemon in. I don't know, you can catch Pokemon in cities in this game. I just realized you can. There's some, there's some grass in How Early City, so. I guess we'll just. We'll, we'll forget about. Heracross. Danny, I'll name the next Pokemon after you, I promise. Uh, I'm just, I'm sorry that that Pokemon wasn't able to be kept, unfortunately, which is kind of sucky, but it's so whatever. We deal with it, we'll deal with it. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode off here. Of course, before we end the episode off, let me get our reward very quickly, um, because we do have a, uh, a new reward to feed us. So let's go ahead and wait for the wheel to load. Is it gonna load? It did load, okay, cool. Start recording. And I'm gonna spin this bad boy as a gift because we didn't use a Pokemon Center in this in this episode. Technically, we got it healed, but it wasn't like my choice. We didn't even access a Pokemon Center yet, so it's kind of a good time to get the, the Pokemon Center one, but I'm gonna spin the wheel. And we're gonna get... Lucky Egg. Bam! Awesome, so our gift for the next episode is lucky. If, if you are liking the wheel spin stuff, please do let me know down below. It is really important that you let me know because I don't want to go ahead and record a bunch of episodes and you, be, you guys be like, don't like it. It's it's just making the game too easy or it's it's just not making the game interesting. And this is still very early on um, and I'm very excited to try out like the challenge stuff and see where it goes. So, you know, please give it a chance. If, you, if you're not thinking it's the greatest thing right now, give me a chance. Um, and also, I hope you guys are liking the, uh, the, in the previous episode segments I've been doing as well. Um, it was an idea given to me again, and I was like, screw it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do like a Dragon Ball Z Sonic Adventure 2 battle, like, mashup sort of thing. How, and I, I mean, it, it's, I'm, I'm just having fun with this series. Um, and I, I think this is one of the first times I've been able to be my goofy self and stuff, so, I don't know. If you're liking it, leave a like down, down below, see if we can hit 1,000 likes again, guys, because you've been killing it, and I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. With that being said, I will see you guys next time.